Good morning. This is the Grill Crew News Network, and here's today's news for the morning. Hello and good morning. How was your first day of spring break so far? Mine is fine, I guess. Today is Monday, March twentieth, twenty twenty-two. Like we said last night, we will see you today. But it came true. We are here. Woo woo! Anyways, we have about four more days left until April. On the first day of April, we will move on to new features on the Girl Crew News Network. We don't know what is going to be yet. We will come up with new features for it that I have been waiting for today. Okay. We have three health updates that delivers you good news about the Stray Kids members. So Chongman of Stray Kids has been COVID positive and now he is back fully recovered from COVID-19. He has been released from his coronavirus quarantine three days ago. We are so happy to hear that, but sadly, Han is still in quarantine. Lots of states are still wishing him get well soon. Anyways, let's go on to the next health update that delivers you good news. Well. Chongmen has been released from quarantine and now Soongmen has been released from quarantine. Uh, I don't know. Ha! Huh. I don't know how many days. I can't remember the date. Uh, let's continue on. So he fully recovered from COVID-19. We are so happy to also hear about that. With Felix I.N. And Kim Woo Jin will be the last three Stray Kids members who has been infected by COVID. We hope not. Okay, we are moving on to one more COVID-19 health update today. Well, also, here is good news. Stray Kids, Bong Chong, Lee No. And Hyojin has fully recovered from the coronavirus. We are so happy about it. We hope the next one who has COVID is not Felix. Okay, let's look at one other COVID-19 health update for today. The pandemic in some countries are getting so much out of control, but the coronavirus pandemic in the United States are slowly affecting lots of Americans. We have about 61,654 COVID-19 cases and 785 COVID-19 deaths worldwide. According to the website news.yahoo.com, it says that the Biden administration will be giving elderly Americans a second COVID-19 booster shot. Those above the age of 50 will be able to get a second booster of either the Pfizer, BioNTech, or Moderna vaccines. However, multiple issues complicate the plan as the administration has to calculate when the next COVID-19 wave could hit the U.S., source told the Times. The administration will want to get the second booster to the elderly before another wave hits, but not too far before that protection would wane. However, it is unclear how dangerous this wave could be compared 
to pass increases as a BA2 variant begins to become the domain strand in the U.S. So really, when the people with health problems and elderly people gain COVID and dying? Absolutely not. We don't want that. If you did not know that there are lots of COVID-19 recoveries, we will tell you. If you have been diagnosed with COVID and you do not have any health problems, you will feel better and recover. You will not die from COVID-19. But if you have health problems and COVID, such as heart problems, breathing problems, asthma, etc., especially if you are elderly, this can result in a COVID-19 death. Then you might die from COVID-19. We don't want this already. Now, let's go to the weather forecast. Woo-woo! Here we go. What's the weather? Today, it is 21 degrees right now, and due to current wind conditions, it feels like it is 12 degrees today. Brr! It's spring break, and it's cold? Okay. Ugh. Today, it is mostly sunny, with a high of 34 and a low of 19. We are now looking forward to good weather that kills COVID. And we hope COVID will be over with. Okay, we have no birthday celebrations today, but we will see you this afternoon. That is all I have for you today. Make sure to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and comment down below. But remember to keep the comments nice and kind, not violent. Also, turn on notifications so that way you won't miss out on any updates. My name is Stephanie King. And I'll see you next time on the Grill Crew News Network. Have a good day.